know it, it's the ring time. Welcome to the famous, the legendary Nürburgring, to the ADAC Track Grand Prix and to the fourth round of the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. 19 starters grid and number 28 is Emma Mackinnon. Welcome. How was the transition for you from racing touring cars to trucks? Were there any big differences that you have to anticipate? Uh, yeah, the truck is totally different than touring cars. The power is so strong and, and uh, driving likes about all of the things are very different than in touring cars. It's so exciting to see a young female driver here uh, at the Nürburgring, uh, like Emma, competing at the Truck Grand Prix. Have you given her some advices? For sure, I tried to help her before uh, yesterday, the press ride starts, and we just uh, talk about the, the shiftings and the gears, so that she can start and concentrate on the line, on the brakings, and uh, I tell her if uh, she has any questions, she can come to me and ask me. So Super Pole it is, of course, for you. Uh, what are your uh, plans for this race weekend here? Because Nürburgring is so special with all the spectators, over 100,000 fans attending. Oh, really? That's, um, that's, that's really nice. Um, welcome to everybody. <laughs> and yeah, you know, uh, the plan is the same as always, you know, to try to prepare for the start and then try to have a good start, you know, um, try to be uh, the first to arrive uh, in turn one. And, uh, and, and try to stay there, you know, and try to win the first race. The race weekend at the International ADAC Truck Grand Prix got underway in familiar fashion with Norbert Kish on pole position. He was joined by Adam Lachko with Sasha Lenz and Jochen Hahn on row two. Jamie Anderson had qualified highest out of all of the promoters' cup drivers, but contact at the very start with Antonio Albafezzi would lead to Jamie eventually having a flat tyre, and then further problems would see him retire from the race. A clean and tidy start from Norbert Kish would mean that he could open up the gap straight away, though, exactly as he usually does in the first race of the weekend. Yet again, superior pace from the Red Revesh Racing MAN. Adam Lachko would have to defend from the very get-go as well, though, with Sasha Lenz, Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albertetti all queuing up behind. The queue was moving past Stefan Fass, though, who unfortunately had an electrical failure in the opening encounter and would lose all power to his truck retiring from the race early on. The field all jostled for position in the opening stages, but Adam Lachko held firm in the Bagheera ZM Racing Freightliner. More and more pressure was mounting on him and Sasha Lenz all piling in behind. Sasha kept trying to make the moves while Jochen Hahn waited for his opportunity. And it was lap after lap that Adam managed to make it the widest Freightliner in the world. Eventually, Jochen Hahn would get past Sasha Lenz, albeit with a little bit of contact, and he would move up into third place and then try to be the man to take second from Lachko. In the last couple of moments, though, Sasha Lenz would have a suspension failure as he hopped down on the apex of Turn 1, going straight into the gravel and straight out of the race. That meant that Norbert Kish had an even easier time at the front. The battles would continue on behind him, but he would be able to just run away at the very front. Lachko managed to keep a decent gap back to Jochen Hahn and defend as well as possible. Antonio Albacete was not able to make any further progress either from fourth position. And it looked like the usual sort of procedure for the first race of the weekend in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. And Norbert Kish looked to start another beautiful weekend in dominant fashion. It was a fantastic victory with Lachko taking good points in second and Jochen Hahn rounding out a very popular podium in third place. Earlier. This is an important race, the first race this weekend. Congrats to this 20 points. How important are those? Yeah, it's uh, you know always very um, important, and um, yeah, I am happy with the race. Start was good, um, performance was good. Um, 
Trubadores. So, yeah, rather calm. Start to the weekend for Norbert Kish then ahead of Adam Lachko and Jochen Hahn. Jochen hoping to get more podiums on home soil and of course for Iviko as well. Norbert Kish wins by just over three seconds from Adam Lachko. Jochen Hahn in third ahead of Antonio Albafetti. Theo Calve wins the Promoters' Cup in the first race of the day ahead of Steffi Halm, who finishes sixth. Andre Kurzim was in seventh. Lucas Hahn in his first race of the season finishes eighth overall and, of course, second in the Promoters' Cup. Jose Rodriguez gets the final podium spot in said Promoters' Cup as well. And Shane Brereton rounds out the top ten, of course, P4 in that category as well in the Apollo Tires TOR truck racing machine. Just outside the top ten, we had Zhaniak, Hecker, Klein Nagelvort, Rikwenko, Kirsch, Makinen and Sasha Lenz out of the race. It's your hometown race. Uh, yesterday we saw uh, you very emotional because last year was very difficult for this area due to this flooding disaster and you donated to some of the helpers here around the track. What was that for a moment? Ah, in the end, you know, we make the motorsport. We, we are here to, to bring and make emotions. But in the end, a lot of people in the world have big, big, bigger problems than us. So and from this side, you know, it's emotional when Somebody lose everything, so from this side, I don't know in English, but we are, we are all in a good move, so sometimes we must think about the other people. Race two held a lot of potential for the weekend with son of Jochen Hahn, Lucas Hahn, on pole position with another Iveco alongside him in the form of Andre Kurzim. Steffi Halm would make it three Ivicos in the top four. Teo Calve was looking to make a good start as well and make a good one. He did indeed. Lucas led them away, but Andre Kurzim went slightly backwards into the middle between Halm and Calve. And it was always going to be busy on the way down into turn one. A little bit of contact and a big lock up from Steffi Halm pushed a number of drivers wide, meaning that Antonio Albacete could sneak through down the inside into position number two. Sasha Lenz got a big, big face full of trucks at the back of the field with a fantastic view ahead of him but eventually got hung out to dry around turn two seen here from Stefan Fass. But Lucas Hahn held on and so too did Steffi Halm holding on to third place. Andre Kurzim getting held out to dry around the outside of the Mercedes-Benz Arena but managing to keep running despite a little bit of contact here and there. With so many trucks on the grid this weekend, everybody was jostling for position at every single opportunity. It was an incredibly, incredibly frantic first encounter around the circuit. Everybody held true though, and all of the racing was firm, but very fair indeed. Norbert Kish started to make some ground from starting eighth on the grid. He went for a move down the inside of Adam Lachko and would continue to progress. Sasha Lenz and Shane Brereton got very argy-bargy in the middle part of the race. Shane then losing another place to his countryman, Jamie Anderson. Lucas Hahn continued to hold his lead, though, ahead of Albathetti, Halm, and then Jochen Hahn, and then Norbert Kish. All of them defending from one another and putting up a fantastic fight throughout the entire race. Jochen Hahn becoming airborne at certain points, trying to keep Norby behind, while the action further back was between Jose Rodriguez, Andre Kurzim, and Sasha Lenz. Sasha trying to recover once more after retiring from the very first race of the day. Jochen Hahn was defending incredibly well, and in the bigger picture, holding back Norbert Kish from going forward and attacking his fellow Iveco drivers, most notably his son, Lucas. Norby eventually got the move done in beautiful fashion, though, and moved up into fourth place to then go chasing after Steffi Halm in the Team Schwaben truck machine. And into the final lap or so, there was a big fluid spillage 
by Klein Nagelvoort at the final corner. But that was not enough to stop Lucas Hahn from taking his first overall win in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. A massively popular victory ahead of Antonio Albertetti and Steffi Halm. A very, very well-rounded podium. There would be very emotional scenes to come, but Lucas was absolutely delighted to take his first outright win. And straight off the bat, he was there to speak to Christina. So we just want to know how are you with all the champagne right now <laughs> running <laughs> up and down? Yeah, my, my eyes are full with champagne, but my, also my overall, but doesn't matter. It, it was an amazing feeling to stay there. A lot of people was coming and was celebrating this win with me, with my family, with everybody who is here. It's unbelievable, yeah. So Lucas Hahn takes a win on home soil in an Ivico. Amazing performance by the young German with Antonio Albertetti finishing in second place. Strong points for T-Sport Bernal. Steffi Halm finished third. A great podium for her ahead of Norbert Kisch and Jochen Hahn. One very proud father indeed. Adam Lachko finished sixth ahead of his teammate Theo Calve. Sasha Lenz recovered up to eighth position after starting from the very back of the grid. He was just ahead of Jose Rodriguez and Andre Kurzim in the Don't Touch Racing of Eco would round out your top 10, just over 12 seconds off the eventual race winner. Anthony Janiak was 11th ahead of Shane Brereton. Stefan Fass, Jamie Anderson recovered to 14th ahead of Heinrich Clemens Hecker. Then we had Emma Mackinen, Louis Requenko, Stefan Kirsch and Erwin klein unfortunately retiring with a severe engine failure right near the end. That being the main reason for all of the fluid down at the final corner, which became a bit of a hazard for the drivers in the later stages, but it was all OK in the end. And how's this for an emotional embrace? A very proud father-son moment between Jochen Hahn and Lucas Hahn. An amazing moment for these two incredible gentlemen. Absolute legend of the sport is Jochen, and his son is looking to have just a, the same amount of promise going forward. The celebrations continued on into the night, though, as down at the Mullenblatt Schleifer, we had the incredible fireworks display and all of the show trucks lined up for a great evening of action. After two years away due to the COVID pandemic and the horrendous flooding that the region saw last year, it was very heartwarming and incredibly emotional to be back with over 160 show trucks lined up on this beautiful Saturday night. We made our way back to the circuit on Sunday and after a dramatic qualifying session which saw Norby Kish put down to 10th position with his lap times deleted, it was Jochen Hahn on pole position with Sasha Lenz alongside him. Adam Lachko and Antonio Albacetti would make up row two and the very packed field would all fight their way through turn one with a little bit of contact here and there but still hard, close racing. Norbert Kish looking to make up positions as soon as possible to make up for the lap times that were deleted in the morning session. Sasha Lenz didn't want to let Jochen Hahn get away early on, but Jochen was looking supreme in the opening couple of laps, leading the field in a very calm and controlled manner. Everybody else trying to slot into position further down the order and more of the same going on at the front. But unfortunately, in certain circumstances, two into one do not go. Shane Brereton and Jose Rodriguez making contact here at the final corner. Lucas Hahn losing out as well, avoiding them over the gravel. But at the end of the first lap, it was Hahn from Lenz and Lachko. And another look back at the start showed you just how bunched up it can get into the first corner of this race as these huge five and a half ton machines all battle for the top spot. The top three started to spread out in the midpoint of the race. Jochen Hahn looking very comfortable in the Iveco ahead of Sasha Lenz. Norbert Kish had a great fight with the two Bagheera ZM racing machines of Adam Lachko and Theo Calve. Adam losing a little bit of bodywork in the process as well, while Theo did his best to stick with them and try and win the Promoters Cup. Norbert Kish continued his progress onwards and went down the inside of Steffi Halm. Some fair racing from Steffi as she gave plenty of room 
for Norby to go through at the right-hand hairpin. We had some fantastic onboards from Steffi all the way through the race, which showed us just how hard she was working. And Antonio Albertetti was working hard as well. He was closing in on Sasha Lenz in the last couple of laps. And further down the order, there was battles developing as well. Anthony Janiek starting to put more and more pressure on Stefan Fass in his tank pool 24 Scania. But in the beautiful sunshine, it was going to be another Hahn taking a race victory this weekend. Jochen taking race three after his son took race two of the weekend just yesterday afternoon. A very, very important win. Two Germans taking the win on home soil so far over the weekend. Sasha Lenz held on to second place with Antonio Albertetti third and Norbert Kisch in fourth. It was Jochen Hahn's first race victory this season and he would be very, very pleased to celebrate with his lovely wife and, of course, have a quick word with Christina. You will enjoy every second on the podium then. For sure, you know, when, when you are on the podium in the middle and you cannot smile, what happens? You know, it's clear, now it's time for a little bit of a party. So for the second time this weekend, it was a Hahn on the top step of the podium. This time, Jochen, Hahn Senior. Sasha Lenz finishes in second place. Truck 2, P2, a great recovery after a poor day yesterday. Antonio Albertetti finishes on the podium once more. Norbert Kish just misses out, but still strong points in fourth, ahead of Adam Lachko in fifth. Next up was Steffi Halm with Theo Calve winning the Promoters' Cup in seventh. Jamie Anderson had a fantastic recovery drive from 18th to 8th, which put him on the reverse grid pole position for the final race of the weekend. He was ahead of Andre Kersim and Stefan Fass, who rounded out the 10. Behind them was Anthony Janiak and Lucas Hahn. A bit of a stark contrast to yesterday for Lucas. He was ahead of Shane Brereton, Jose Rodriguez, Heinrich Clemens Hecker, Emma Mackinnon, Louis Requenko, and Stefan Kirsch rounded out our 18 truck field. Unfortunately, missing Klein Nagelvor after his engine failure yesterday, but he was still watching from the paddock and enjoying the weekend's action. Right now we have seen three races and race four is left for us. And we do see the innovation camp as always right now on the race trucks with Georg Fuchs, managing director from the ETRA, from the promoter of this race weekend, of course. Hello and welcome. This is the innovation camp, but we do see something new. Yes, actually we are very delighted with the innovation camp here at Nürburgring to have all kind of technology uh, possibilities. Uh, like we had in the past, the synthetic fuel, uh, the HVO, um, synthetic fuel, the bio-LNG, but now we have electric and for the first time hydrogen as well. So all four technology pillars are here. We are really delighted. Uh, we have different kinds of brands. It's from the Mercedes, Volvo, Hyundai the first time, and of course our Iveco's um, and we are very happy to show this uh, to our fans. So after finishing eighth in race three of the weekend, after a fantastic recovery drive, Jamie Anderson would start from pole position for the final race of the weekend. He would be alongside Theo Calve with Steffi Halm and Adam Lachko making up row two. The initial getaway from Jamie was a very good one indeed. Theo Calve able to slot down the inside, but Norbert Kirsch was instantly on the offensive. This was his chance to get some good points over his championship rivals as he started ahead of them on this grid, where normally on the reverse grid, he's behind them. Sasha Lenz here showing just how close and friendly the action was in the opening couple of corners. Steffi Halm and Theo Calve both vying for positions to try and have a go at Jamie Anderson for the race lead. Unfortunately, Teo losing out there 
to his teammate Adam Lachko. Steffi Halm instantly started putting pressure on Jamie. But Jamie soaked it up very, very well indeed. We had once again great onboards from Steffi, showing just how hard she was pushing to try and take that race lead. Norbert Kish putting pressure on driver after driver in the middle of the pack. And further behind them, there was so much battling going on, it was hard to know where to look. Jimmy Anderson started to just turn the dials up slightly, though, and relinquish a big gap back to Steffi Halm. And certainly started to look more comfortable towards the end of the race. Teo Calve was leading the second trio that we had on the circuit. Second, third and fourth were then followed by fifth, sixth and seventh, all in very close little battle packs. Lap after lap, deja vu style, Teo managed to defend from Sasha Lenz and Jochen Hahn. A fantastic display of just how good the young Frenchman is. Norbert Kirsch moved past Adam Lachko after many attempts into the last couple of laps. And before long, he would put more and more pressure on Steffi Halm and get the move done with only three laps to go of the race. And then everybody's attention turned to the bright red MAN. And we all held our breath to see whether he would catch Jamie Anderson and take the race win away from him before the end. Another look here at Norby going down the inside. A beautiful view from Steffi's Iviko. But Jamie Anderson had opened up enough of a lead to have quite a comfortable final couple of laps. He was still pushing very hard indeed, though. Be silly not to with the chance that he had at taking his second career victory in the championship. There was a last-minute dive for Adam Lachko to try and get a podium spot away from Steffi Halm, but Steffi defended just as hard as ever and made sure he wouldn't come through. But after a torrid start to the weekend, it was an amazing race victory for Jamie Anderson, just holding off Norbert Kish until the end, with Adam Lachko just missing out on a podium after a very lively race finish, with Steffi Halm taking third. And you could tell it meant a lot to Jamie Anderson. After a lot of failures in both qualifying sessions, starting from the back, getting a penalty, and then eventually winning the race, it was an amazing achievement come the end of the weekend. How did you manage to come, as we said, from 99 problems to pole to the win? Yeah, it was, uh, I had a good start off the start, um, and I knew I sort of had the legs on Tio. And uh, Steffi was a little problem at the start. I thought if I can get mid-race, um, then I can bridge a gap. And then the next thing I see is I'm driving around on the TV screen, the Predator's coming. Um, you know, and uh, I just said that to Norby, he's the worst person you can think in your mirrors because he's this person that just jumps behind you in seconds. You know, but uh, good. taking his second win in his career and second win of the season is Jamie Anderson. 2.2 seconds clear of Norbert Kish by the time the flag dropped, with Steffi Halm finishing on the podium once again. Adam Lachko was fourth ahead of Sasha Lenz, who turned a pretty horrible start to the weekend around. Jochen Hahn gets a strong sixth position for more championship points, while Teo Calve gets another second place in the Promoters' Cup. Andre Kurzim finishes eighth overall ahead of Lucas Hahn on the podium once again, this time at the Promoters' Cup with ninth overall. Jose Rodriguez finishes in tenth position, just behind the trucks ahead after being stuck in a lot of battles all the way through. Rounding out the field, we had Stefan Fast, Shane Brereton, Anthony Janiek, Louis Requenko, Heinrich Clemens Hecker, Stefan Kirsch, and Emma Mackinnon completing her first weekend in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship. She seemed very excited to get plenty of experience of racing the truck, and hopefully we look to see her in the future. Looking into the future, which is the second half of the season, Norbert Kish has a very healthy points advantage over Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz. The two of them only separated by six points now, with Adam Lachko in fourth place. Albathetti is fifth on just less than 100 points, with Steffi Halm not too far behind. It's close between Kurzim and Anderson, with Calve in ninth, and Shane Brereton rounding out the top 10 on 23 points.
a fantastic weekend comes to an end with so many popular victories taking place in each of the races. Good to see a big grid as well with more drivers making their return and their debuts in the championship. Positive vibes and smiles all around and we head to the next round of the championship which will take place at Most on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of September. We cannot wait to see you there and we of course hope that you will all tune into our broadcasts and give you fantastic entertainment 